seahorses and sea dragons are amazing fish that live in the ocean. They both have rigid bodies with bony plates. Seahorses and sea dragons also have long, tube-like snouts, and their heads and necks resemble that of a horse's. Since they look pretty similar to each other, people may sometimes mistake one for the other. Then, how can we distinguish them? Seahorses and sea dragons share the family Cygnathidae, but they are of different genuses. Seahorses belong to the Hippocampus genus, which has 46 different species. These include the short-snouted seahorse, the spiny seahorse, the knobby seahorse, etc. Different from seahorses, sea dragons belong to the Philopteryx genus. There are only three known species, the leafy, weedy, and ruby sea dragons. Size is another feature that should be considered. Although it depends on their species, sea dragons are larger than seahorses. Seahorses can be anywhere from 0.6 to 14 inches long, whereas sea dragons are between 14 and 18 inches long. Seahorses and sea dragons look very similar, and they have horse-like heads. They both have the ability to change their color to mimic their habitat. Despite this, there are still some differences regarding their bodies. Seahorses have a bonier appearance when compared to sea dragons. Additionally, they don't have the leafy appendages that sea dragons have. Sea dragons are covered with leafy appendages, and these make them look like algae or drifting seaweed. Sea dragons are usually more colorful than seahorses, even though this isn't always the case. The use of their tails is also one of the clear differences between them. Seahorses' tails are prehensile, which means they can grasp or hold objects with them. Although they can swim with their small dorsal fins, it's more commonly observed for them to wrap around something with their tails and use it as an anchor. Sea dragons' tails are not prehensile, and they do not serve much purpose other than helping with camouflage. Their tails are longer than seahorses' tails. Seahorses and sea dragons' diets are also different. Seahorses consume plankton, larvae, crustaceans, and brine shrimp. They must swallow whole food because they don't have teeth. Sea dragons are carnivores and eat tiny crustaceans, fish larvae, small fish, mycetrimps, and zooplankton. They also do not possess any teeth. Seahorses and sea dragons live in different areas as well. Seahorses' habitats are widespread. They are found in shallow, tropical, and temperate salt water all over the world. They live in a variety of sheltered areas, which include seagrass beds, mangroves, and coral reefs. Sea dragons' habitats are limited to the coastal area of Australia. They live in or around kelp forests, seaweed, seagrass beds, and rocky reefs. For both seahorses and sea dragons, males carry out the pregnancy, but this is done in different ways. The females of each animal deposit their eggs in or on the males. For seahorses, females deposit their eggs into the male's brood pouch near the belly. This pouch is internal, and it protects and oxygenates the eggs until they hatch. For sea dragons, females lay eggs on males' brood patch. This small, spongy patch is located on the underside of the tail. Sea dragons, in general, live longer than seahorses. Seahorses usually have lifespans of 3 to 5 years. However, sea dragons usually live between 5 to 7 years. Now you know how to tell the differences between seahorses and sea dragons. That's all I have for today. Thank you!